Other police are searching for the people who broke into a high school and did a lot of damage. News 13's Amanda Goodman is live with that from the Newsplex. Amanda? Dick, police say the troublemakers got in through a classroom window, then started setting fires. From the outside, everything at Gallup High School looks as it should, but behind these doors is a lot of damage. Some of the bulletin boards and the paperwork on them had been set on fire. Uh, there was a TV that had been set on fire, and then it appeared that even a larger fire had uh, tried to be set in a janitor's closet. Gallup police say someone broke into the high school Friday night. They shattered this classroom window to get in. Once inside, they went berserk. Prior to setting the fires, we would presume that they did uh, vandalize and attempt to burglarize the vending machines in the school. The rampage was limited to the school's cafeteria. Still, investigators say cleaning up the mess will cost thousands. Gallup police say the school is no stranger to break-ins and vandals, but this time around, they experienced a first. Usually it's damage to computers and fire extinguishers sprayed around, but this is the first time where we've actually had a, an arson involved. In a strange twist, though, police believe the fires actually prevented more mayhem because they set off the fire alarm and firefighters were at the school within minutes. School was able to go on as usual on oh, Monday. Really? Unfortunately, one or a handful of people try to disrupt that with these kind of uh, acts, and it's, it's very unfortunate. We'd like to find out who did that. Now, police say it's quite possible a student or students are behind this. If caught, they will face a long list of charges. Dick? All right, Amanda, there is a reward for information leading to the arrests of whoever did all that damage.